Ladies, gamers, and gentlemen, welcome to Bill Noir's StarCraft II Casts. Today we have a game between Noni and Slayer's Boner taking from the American servers. This is a letter game and spawning in here in the bottom left position on Frost we are going to have Noni aka Tyler aka get lit this is one of his uh, smurf accounts that he's using the other one is uh, ha 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 well you get the point he's spawning in the bottom left position his opponent is going to be slayers boner spawning as the blue terran over here in the bottom right position now slayers boner is a grandmaster level on uh, the na servers and as far as i know he's one of the very few people that can actually play random and be Grandmaster with it. Um, Noni currently with this account uh, is on Master level MMR. Um, he's playing a top master really uh, level. And uh, you know I, I always love watching Noni play. Um, just just seeing how calm he is behind the keyboard, how, how he sits, how um, his fingers move, making very small, precise movements, not trying to spam or anything like that. He always just... He, he's very cost-efficient with his uh, muscle movements, as far as I can see it. So, um, he is playing... He knows he is playing versus a random player, so that will force him to um, open up with a very general build. Um, he doesn't know if he's playing versus a Protoss, he doesn't know if it's a Zerg or if it's a Terran. In this case it is going to be a Terran player. Noni is going to uh, check this watchtower in the hopes that he would catch a scouting uh, probe or, or a drone or, a, or an SCV or something, but that isn't going to happen. And uh, well, Noni um, let's see if he ends up getting a Zealot. Probably will. Yes, there we see the Zealot being queued up. And now he sees what he's up against. He sees he he's playing uh, versus a Terran, but he did not get inside to see this uh, refinery there. Uh, but he did, I think he did see the Marine uh, popping out of the barracks. So this could confuse him a little bit, uh, since he doesn't know that there is a gas being taken. Um, he could surmise that given the... Given the Given the size of the map, this could be a gasless expansion. Of course, gasless expansions uh, in TVP are not that common these days. Um, and uh, the turn player indeed has taken the gas. So right now we see a reactor being added on onto the barracks and um, a factory being built. So probably Hellions will be coming out of Slayer's Boner's uh, base as he is scouting or rather patrolling with these two marines waiting for the mothership core to appear and Noni actually is rarely pointing his nexus towards that location he wants to get a good scout and what Slayer's Boner will be trying to do is denying that scout now two marines that is not enough to make a mothership core scared in fact a mothership core can take out these two marines very easily uh, cannot take out three though a mothership core will die to three marines firing at it but two marines target fired down um, the Mothership Core should survive. For the time being though, um, the Marines are being pulled back. <clears throat> the third one should be out very shortly here. The question is, will Noni get the Scout? Yes, he will. He does get the Scout before the Mothership Core is out. And oh, it's not going to be Hellions. It is indeed going to be Widow Mines. And with the constant Marine production, I have to assume that Probably what Slayer's Boner is looking to do. Oh wait, there's a starport. Okay, so this is going to be a Widow Mine drop. The medevac uh, should be queued up here at the starport very, very shortly here. Noni, very luckily for him, he does have the Robo facility almost finishing up, and he is building a forge as well. So he is playing a very standard, currently very standard um, build order or strategy in PVT where. You just get everything off of one base and try to stay low army for as long as possible. And why can you afford to do that? Well, because you have that Mothership Core. The Mothership Core has one key ability that you can use to stay alive and that is this baby right here. 100 energy cost for a Photon Overcharge deals 20 damage 
for a period of 60 seconds and makes your Nexus practically into a giant fat cannon uh, with a lot of hit points. Now you don't want to be facing a 2000 hit point cannon this early in the game, trust me. Um, so that is why staying on one gate is uh, is so good. And uh, Slayer's Boner, he behind the Widow Mind Drop, he's getting a third expansion. So he's playing this really, really greedily. He's going to rely on slowing Noni down as much as possible. The cannon is not yet finished, but look at the reaction time from Noni. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Actually, whew, that was really close there. That cannon was blocking the probes from retreating from the mi Widow Mine a little bit there. Uh, so, uh, Noni almost lost very many probes there, but as it is, he only lost two. The cannon is done, so no need to keep those units in there. In fact, this cannon uh, helped kill those two Widow Mines. The medevac has to go all the way around and retreat with the remaining Marines, as there is a cannon in the natural mineral line as well. Noni getting the observer out is going to scout that third base out and he's going to be like, oh my god, what do I do now? So he does have the plus one armor almost finishing up and he does have the robo support base, so what he might try and do here, since he is already saturated on two bases, he might try to go for a Colossus bus. Here we see the Twilight Council being added on though, so that leads me to think that Noni probably wants to go into either charge or blink, or maybe even just uh, into uh, plus two armor. First class is being queued up, and the third base has to lift off and uh, retreat back here. But Noni, he very well might lose this army. It is true that Stim is not yet done, but there are marauders in this composition, which makes the stalkers a little bit afraid of engaging that and Noni very wisely is pulling back with these four stalkers and he is getting a third base of his own so he's trying to match his opponent's economy as he is trying to get all the tech up he knows that the Terran by opening up with those widow mines he is delaying his stim by a large amount we can see the stim is only halfway done just about still has about 70 seconds to go so uh, an attack onto Noni's base should not come sooner than maybe 11.30, 12 minute mark. Um, and yeah, Slayer's Boner, he he did see that uh, Robo Bay going up uh, when he flew over with the medevac uh, initially. So he's getting Vikings, he's producing... Uh, he should be producing two at a time. Where is that starboard? There we have it. He should be producing two at a time. As well, he's getting a double engineering base. The stim is close to being done, as well as the concussive shells. This is the timing that Slayer's Boner is looking for. But the gateways are about to finish for Noni, and he's going to be he's going to be up on four gates. That is, that could be enough to um, match the production rate of the Terran player, who is producing uh, off of three barracks with reactors and one with a tech lab. 1-1 one, one started for the Terran player as he is closing in. Noni does know that this base is being blocked off and Slayer's Boner just uh, found out about the third base that Noni has built. He's probably going to go into a huge drop into the main, scans, kills the Observer. As a result, probably will not be dropping here because the Observer did, gi did give Noni enough information to prepare for that drop. Storm is finished now and Noni at this point in time has access to both Colossi and High Templars and he does have quite a few of them on the field. We can see three High Templars already. Uh, more scans going down. Uh, Slayer's Boner trying to uh, ascertain his best, what his best course of action would be. It looks like he's going to wait until this Ghost Academy finishes and he's, going to be, he's not going to be engaging before that. Of course, seeing Noni take a fast fourth base potentially here might trigger a response from uh, a Slayer's Boner and he might try to go for an attack. Noni playing this really well so far, defending every single thing that uh, Slayer's Boner threw his way. And right now what he really needs is to get these two gases up and running, plus two armor on the way. He's working only off of one single forge, remember? Uh, as opposed to double engineering base of the Terran player, so 
this is basically the trade-off you do. You either go only for one tech path initially, either Colossi or Templars, and that will allow you to get double forges and have 3-3 three, three upgrades really quickly, but that also makes you kind of vulnerable to heavy 2 base or 3 base turn timings, maybe even SCV pulls. On the other hand, if you're getting only one forge, that will allow you to have enough gas to get both Colossi and High Templar out on the field, and that will make your army a little bit more well-rounded and a little bit more difficult to deal with. If we look at the supplies right now, it's very, very, very close. The army supplies are, sh are showing 72 versus 94. Of course, the army supply of the turn player is going to be slightly higher uh, than the Protoss's. But that will only last for a couple of minutes. And with the Mobius reactor finishing up and first ghosts in production, um, actually they should be just about right so that they pop out after the Mobius reactor is finished. Yeah, just about. Very, very close there. Let's see if those ghosts actually have enough energy for an EMP. Yes, they do. And it is going to be Noni who is assuming an aggressive position here, trying to safeguard his observer from the scans, because whenever a scan goes down, that makes you a little bit scared as a Protoss player, because you may think, oh, he's got a couple of Vikings on the side that I cannot see, and they can go in and, uh, with their range, snipe the observer and then just retreat. Getting observer kills as a, pl as a Terran player is always, always, always worthwhile. I really like the fact how Slayer's Boner is constantly splitting his army around, though. I think to get this pile on. Not a cancel there, but uh, not a big issue. Oh, Noni, not in the best positions. He is storming the army, but all the Templars have been EMP'd right now. No Guardian Shield going up because he needs the energy for Force Fields. And without Storm and with enough Vikings to kill these... Uh, Kill these Colossi off. Noni is in a really, really bad spot suddenly. Luckily, he's he's got uh, plenty of gateways to try and reinforce this, working off of eight gateways with plus two armor finished and uh, plus two attack about uh, to be done. He is pushing this back. Oh, beautiful Storm helping out tremendously in this engagement, and that makes Slayer's boner retreat so Noni forcing his way through Slayer's Boner's army but the EMPs could be absolutely crucial here onto the Zealots Slayer's Boner has to be careful not to jump the trigger though as he is walking directly through another one of Noni's storms this army is greatly damaged look at those units most of them in orange and red and he has to wait until those units heal up before he can make another engagement. Meanwhile, Noni warping in more Templars as much as he can. Look at this. 1000 minerals, only 150 gas. He needs that additional gas income from that fourth base. As the factory is still blocking this location. Um, Noni in a good position. Uh, he's got... Only one Robo, though, that he's working off of, but two Forges. He can start getting Shield Upgrades now that the plus three armor is done. And with these Over Minerals, he'll be looking uh, to uh, replenish all the Zealots he's, uh, he's losing. But I have to say, his positioning of the army is not the best. But Noni always, you know, he's got so much experience. He's able to make the correct calls. Uh, pretty much all the time. We even see a couple of SCBs being pulled here with this army. I don't know if that is a mistake or if he wants to get a little bit more buffer uh, for his army here. It looks like we might have an engagement. This might be a good one for Noni as the turn player is backed against the corner. EMPs have gone down though and the Colossi are falling rapidly. The Zalots though, still a couple of them remaining and look at this army so, so, so overstimmed. Trying to exchange all of this infantry for a Colossus, not a good idea. And yet again, Slayer's Boner forced to retreat. Noni constantly producing out of that Robo facility, getting his upgrades rolling, and uh, replenishing his army off of 12 gateways right now. 12 gates, 4 bases, good upgrades, both Colossus and a high Templar tech, and the army supply over Slayer's Boner's count. 80 versus 68. Noni slowly but surely overpowering his opponent here. We have a drop queued up, though, and it looks like there are no units here. There are a couple of cannons, not enough energy on the medevac to kill it with a feedback, and the unload is happening right now, those units falling like drops of rain from that dropship. 
Going to get the forge. Luckily, Noni has another one, not doing anything, so he might requeue that shield upgrade there. But in the meantime, he is pushing into the natural and the third base of Slayer's Bolo, trying to avoid those EMPs. Still has enough stalkers here to protect those class eye. How is he going to deal with the drop in his main base, though? It looks like he's completely ignoring it, warping all of his units here at the proxy pylon, going for the throat here, trying to slice the arteries apart. And it looks like uh, he's going to go ahead and knock out the third base. This drop in the main base still doing damage. Only a couple of units warped in might solve that problem for Noni, but he is maxed out. He cannot warp any units there. And it looks like Noni is just on the hunt for expansion. Is he just like, well, I don't need to defend this. The cannons are enough. All of them have been, all of them have been killed now. And Noni, well, he's trying to trying to hunt down these SCVs and the command center while forcing Slayer's Boner to keep the rest of his army in his main base. And look at this, Slayer's Boner getting desperate, pulling all of his SCVs from the main and the natural trying to break out because he's heavily contained right now and he's got only one marine doing damage to this nexus go marines yeah you're going to be doing eight damage at a time wow awesome <laughs> all right so it looks like we might have a final engagement here as noni is uh pushing forward but again he has he needs to avoid those emps trying to storm the army as it would come down the ramp slayer's boner in a good position but look at the number of storms available here. Not very many ghosts here. I don't think there's a single EMP available and Slayer's Boner knows what's up. Gigi's out of the game. Does not want to see his army being killed by storms. And a pretty good game by Noni, I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bel Noir. This was Noni versus Slayer's Boner. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you have anything to say, please post it into the comment section. Actually, I don't know who Slayer's Boner is, and obviously he's a pretty good player, so if anyone knows who this is, please tell me in the comments. I would be very grateful for that. Until next time, remember to stay safe, good luck, have fun, and remember to storm first and ask questions later. See ya.